Bruce McKenzie. Today we are talking about how God chooses you. What you will need for today's video is the worksheet. It is linked in the description below, so print this out. You will also need some scissors, something to color with, and your Bible. So grab those four things, the worksheet, scissors, something to color with, and your Bible. So last week I recommended that you watch a Bible project video about the gospel. And if you missed that, let me give you a 30 second summary of what the gospel is about. Ready, set, go. So the gospel literally means good news. It is about God sending his only son Jesus to earth to bring light to the broken world. Throughout Jesus' life, he taught about God's grace and love. We read the Sermon on the Mount, which is a really famous teaching that Jesus did, and he helped the poor. And on Easter, which is coming up soon, we talk about Jesus' death, how he died on the cross to forgive our sins. And that's the gospel. <laughs> so let's dive into our scripture today. Today we're going to be reading from Ephesians, and we're actually going to be reading from Ephesians until Easter. So we're going to be in this book for a while. So Ephesians is actually a letter that Paul wrote to people in Ephesus called Ephesians, hence the name, and it is in the New Testament. So it's actually way back in your Bible. Ephesians in mine is like all the way back here, and it's only like three pages. So it might be kind of hard to find, but it is very far back in your Bible. And today we're going to be reading Ephesians 1, verses 3 through 8. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without faults in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us, who belong to his dear son. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered us his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding so this passage starts with all praise to god now why should we praise god well if we keep on reading we can see all the things that god does for us so grab your worksheet and your something to color with and grab a color i'll grab this blue so let's read this again in color every time we see that God does something. Spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of circles. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us, who belong to his dear son. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son, and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us, along with all wisdom and understanding. That is a lot of circles. God does so much for us. My favorite part is the part that says that God loves us and chose us and adopted us into his own family through Jesus. So whatever's going on in my chaotic world, I can stop and know God loves me and chooses me without fault in his eyes. So we are part of God's family and he chooses you. Sometimes I get down on myself and say, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough to be in this class or I'm not brave enough to ask for help. So today 
we're going to be creating a mirror. So we are going to draw draw yourself in the center of the mirror like you're like looking into the mirror and color the outside. And I would like us to write things that are positive about ourselves that are good reminders like I am smart, I am kind. So write a few positive things about yourself on the outside and color yourself in the middle because God loves you. So after you finish coloring this, I want you to put this up on your mirror or in your bathroom. So when you look at yourself in the morning while you're brushing your teeth or brushing your hair, you can get a reminder that God loves you and that you are smart and strong and brave. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at our Sunday Zoom. At 11 a.m. on Sunday, we have a fun Zoom call that we do lots of games and just hanging out and talking. This last Sunday, we played Among Us, and you guys are very good at playing Among Us. I will try to get better for the next time we end up playing. So I hope to see you on our Zoom call at 11 a.m. on Sunday. See you later.